I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bursch back at the Imagination Station. This is Imagine It along with Carl Nelson. And today, dealing with something a lot of people might be thinking about this time of the year, frozen pipes, the power of ice, and how it expands and can really uh, just show the force of water turning to ice. Go ahead, Carl. Absolutely. So we got a, a bucket of ice here. And like you said, ice or water, when it freezes, expands, which is unusual. Most things shrink when they get cold. But water expands. So let's demonstrate that. Go ahead okay. and throw some ice into these glasses okay. of water here. And let's see how it floats. Throw it in the other one as well. OK. And so a little bit of a fake out here. This one is actually oh, ethyl alcohol. OK. OK, <laughs> ethyl alcohol. So the ice is more dense than that, so it sinks. But in water, the ice will float. And that expanding property, taking up more space, is a real problem if you store your Pepsi cans in the freezer, right? You're gonna have it happen. Sure. It's gonna pop open and make a horrible mess. Um, but also, even worse would be cast iron pipes in your home or any kind of pipe, really, where it's a closed volume. As that ice begins to freeze and it expands, it can rupture the pipes. You'd um, think that'd be. You would think this would be. It'd be last forever, but you would think. Even though. We're just changing water to ice. It can break something that strong. And when water changes to ice, it expands by about 9%. Okay. And in a closed volume, that can generate over 1,000 atmospheres of pressure. Tremendous, wow. tremendous pressure. So we're going to do it. OK, okay? let's go. So what we're going to do is we're going to use not ice to cool this down, but some liquid nitrogen. OK? Which but is? It's 320 degrees below zero. Okay. Very, very cold. Okay. But first, we need to get this filled up all the way with water, with no bubbles inside. I don't want any air that can possibly uh, be compressed, okay, because air can be compressible. I want to seal this up under the water, get it sealed up finger tight. I think we're good. We got this thing totally filled with water, no air bubbles. Okay. Now, Jay, I need you to add some liquid nitrogen to this plastic right. container. That's going to be our coolant our to cool cooler. this down. Okay, here we go. All the way up, right? Yep, fill her all the way up. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, to do this safely, we got a little containment vessel here. We're going to put the liquid nitrogen inside this container, and then I'll put the, All right, let the elbow expert inside do this part, there. Carl. So we'll put that down inside. Then we're going to put our elbow in, put the top on, and then, Jay, you and I are going to step away, and we're going to listen for the sound of wherever this elbow just happens to have some sort of defect or something where it's going to break apart. So we'll drop right. that into the nitrogen. Let science do its job. We're going to pop this open and pour out the nitrogen. OK. Actually, take a look in there and see. All right, so you can see right there, like you say, Jay, there's that crack right on the side. That was the weak point. That was the weak point pipe. Where, it, where it actually cracked as it expanded. Sometimes the crack can be a lot more dramatic, and it just depends on the weak part of the pipe itself. That's amazing. All just ice. That is amazing enough show of force just by water becoming ice and expanding. Absolutely. All right, don't let that happen to you this year. <laughs> Do what you can to avoid that. Uh, for Carl Nelson, I am Chief Meteorologist Jay Birchback, and that was Imagine It.